I was born in Warsaw, Poland, and not too long after my birth, we were taken to the ghetto. And one day in 1942, my mother and I, along with hundreds and hundreds of other women and children from our part of the ghetto, were herded to Umschlagplatz. My father got a message to my mother's cousin, who worked as a slave guard in the Warsaw jail, and she ran to Umschlagplatz. She saw my mother carrying me being pushed into one of the cattle cars, and she screamed at the top of her lungs that I was her child and that my mother was only minding me. And I was saved at the last moment by this miracle. It is up to the younger generation now, and, and, and we have to empower them. And March of the Living uh, takes them to where their ancestors might have stood. And I think it, it strengthens their Jewish identity. It strengthens their commitment to their Judaism and also to the State of Israel. We were trying to go to the train station, but it was disaster. I felt as all the Ukrainians lost. And suddenly I got a contact of a guy from a Jewish Federation. He said, look, we have a very strong Jewish community, so just come and we will support you. Immediately the world turned on. When I was in Tel Aviv in May 2021, there was a rocket attack. And as I was sitting in the bomb shelter, the hardest part for me was to receive messages from people here in Canada and Montreal that I grew up with, that I went to school with, tell me to go die. And this goes so deep because then I think about my grandparents and all of what they went through and it just makes me so mad that I still need to explain that I do deserve to live. I think that it's important for us to be strong and proud, but at the same time, we need to be louder. Never again, it's not a slogan you put on your social media page a week after you've been in March of the Living. It's actually standing up out there and make sure that never again won't catch up to us here and now. Our goal is to prevent hate crimes from happening. Alors grâce à la fédération et à CSN, je fais partie de ce groupe de bénévoles et j'ai le sentiment de contribuer au bien-être de ma communauté en protégeant nos enfants, en protégeant nos écoles, nos synagogues et en m'entraînant toutes les semaines. Ceux qui croient que nous sommes à l'abri Ne, ne voit pas la réalité en France ou, ou décide de ne pas la voir. Because of that traumatic past in our history, it's always been instilled in our DNA and our genes that we have to learn about who we are. I wouldn't have had the Jewish education that I've had for the past 11 years without the Federation CJA's help. Because of Federation CJA, we have this Shinchinim program. My job during the, the year was to talk with kids and to talk with adults about Israel. And what I really want them to remember is to stand for Israel. The Shinchinim program has totally changed my life. Federation CJA has enabled us to pursue our passion for music and also empowered us to give self-confidence uh, to our members of the choir that uh, have not been given the chance to express themselves. I've never really felt part of a Jewish community until I joined the choir and I started working at GEM. I never knew I could be a singer until I met the Shira Choir. And it allowed the men and women of the Montreal Shira Choir to stand up for themselves. My son was diagnosed with autism and then later ADHD. And a few months ago, my son's childcare worker told me that Kahila was providing grants to help people pay for rent. Being at Kahila has helped me stand up. It has helped me improve my life and the life of my child. Ma sœur et moi étions élevés dans une maison monoparentale, nous réalisant la chance que nous avons eue d'avoir été capables d'aller dans des écoles juives, aller dans des camps juifs, avoir fait des voyages en Israël lorsque nous étions adolescentes. The Jewish community is my life and my home and that's not going to change. People wonder, what if we don't stand up? What if we don't take on anti-Semitism? What if we don't take on poverty and social issues? What if we just live our lives and see where the currents of history takes us? I ask, but look what happens when we do stand up. Look what happens when Jews are proud to be Jewish. We all need to be there for each other. It's very much up to us to stand up and to act. Federation CJA was there to support us and to stand up and say, we're here for you and we're going to help you. Can I imagine Jewish life in Montreal without Federation? It's a building block of everything Jewish in Montreal.